British intelligence has a wide diversity of tools for cyber spying and data manipulation. That's what's been revealed in a document recently leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden. Social network accounts are no longer private. Agents can access data, even hidden, and disable the page if they find it suspicious. And they can even tap into Skype calls and use private email to send spoof letters. How much you spend on eBay or what online polls you have participated in, all of this is also visible to the agents and they can even manipulate the results of the voting. Sarah Firth spoke to campaigners that see such practice as deeply illegal. There's more than 100 projects in the listing for GCHQ's Joint Threat Research Intelligence Group. They've all got quite eccentric code names. Here you've got Angry Pirates, a tool that will permanently disable a target's account on their computer. Now in a statement to RT, GCHQ say that they are not at fault. Well, despite what GCHQ has said, campaigners are saying that if true, the allegations are extremely serious. If this is proven, uh, proven to be true, it's a huge deal because, again, it's GCHQ actually being involved in propaganda and trying to manipulate debates. That's not what they're for. They're there to protect us. They're there for national security, not to rig online polls. Either way, the latest leak has certainly reignited the calls for further oversight of GCHQ activities. It's an argument that we've heard many times before, and it's not one that's looking likely to quieten down anytime soon. Sarah Firth, RT, reporting from London. Meanwhile, the British government is far from asking the intelligence community to limit their powers. A new security law that has been already approved by the House of Commons will further expand monitoring capability, making mobile companies keep customers' private data for up to 12 months. Tony Gosling, an investigative journalist, says the government is interested in watching everyone. Well, it's certainly not going to protect citizens. What, what, how on earth can you protect British citizens by eroding our civil liberties? And we just had an announcement this week from uh, David Cameron that he's going to spend £1 billion more Sometimes on surveillance. So rather than reining back this enormous industry, uh, which is out of control, he actually wants to spend more money on surveillance. They've been doing this in concert with GTHQ and the NSA for so many years now that companies like Google, Twitter, Microsoft, Facebook are actually almost part of the, that surveillance system. Don't, they're not interested anymore in going to uh, the courts in order to ask a judge if they want to put somebody under surveillance. They just assume that everybody is under surveillance. 